Uh, all right, here we go. Roll the warning. I'm sorry. Uh, Jay. Hello? Jay, it's it's past ten, and we better get going uh, on this episode. I know this is a little early for you, but it's time once again to do our thing. Oh, I guess so. Oh man. Say hi. <coughs> hi. Hello. This good is the morning. introduction, actually. Yes. Good morning. Welcome to um, Jay and B on the Rocks. Yes. You must be Jay. I'm Jay, and uh, B is uh, toting the camera here. I'll even take the camera from him and and point it at his face just yeah. to prove it. I'm just a little concerned here about our time schedule, so I think we better get moving if we're going to get all the things done that we need to get done today. So okay. Come along. So I, uh, I guess um, we need to, uh, to get moving and get over to the post office, That's actually. Right. Um, we're supposed to send off some, some stuff to uh, some friends, and uh, it's, it's Saturday right now, today, that we're filming this, and it's 11.15 in the morning right now, and I think the post office closes at noon, so we better get over there yeah. right now. Well, and you better get some clothes on. Yeah, right? I better put some clothes on, so I'll do that thing. Um, got, um, um, uh, Jay, you're trying to put your pants on your head, man. I don't oh. think it's going to work. God, what a silly, yeah. silly. Uh, it's thing. still so early in the morning, you know. This is we kind of thought that since we were doing this back in the camera again episode, um, that uh, that it would be kind of a day in the life of uh, of J and B day back in the camera again. Yeah, like you just saw there yeah. on the screen um, for a fleeting moment. A day in the life of J and B. Um, it's right now, eleven fifteen in the morning. Still? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. It's it, wow. not not much time has passed, but you just wait and time will pass. I guarantee it. Very quickly, hopefully. So as you can see, we've got quite a stack of things to mail off to all kinds of people all over the world, and we're going to go do that at the post office. So um, now we're walking to the post office to send some stuff. You're maybe a little bit confused as to what's going on in this episode right now, so I'm going to explain it to you. This is the real time. If you're watching this television show in Bloomington, Indiana right now, it's currently about 11.05 p.m., give or take a, a minute or two, depending on if the, the person uh, put the show in at the right time on the channel. Now, in real time, here when we're filming, 
it's 11.30, about 11.34, actually. Um, we're, this is going to be kind of a day in the life of uh, episode. It's called Back in the Camera Again, and that's because, um, as you're going to see right here with that title that I just put on the screen or something, um, yes, Back in the Camera Again, the point of this episode is that uh, we yet again um, had to videotape an entire episode just in the camera, no editing. We're, we're on the fly this time, real time. And in real time, it's currently 11.35. So, um, you know, here we go, into the wild blue yonder. Okay, so we're finally at the post office. As you can see, we've got a lot of stuff here. Um, a number of different things, really. Some old bills that Jay just has never gotten around to mailing. Kind of an embarrassment, really. <laughs> some mailers here, as you can see, from J&B on the rocks to uh, some friends of ours, some very special people on our mailing list. And then there's also the uh, Smiling Dog, this fine, free newsletter that we give out to people who write in. And last of all, um, of course, some special, some very special, J and B on the Rocks T-shirts, which wow. we're actually going to mail to, uh, to some very, very special people. Why don't you just got? give them to me? You don't need to oh. mail them anywhere. Well, hey. Wow. Now, yeah, free this. stuff. I've got 16 cents. Will that do? Sure. <laughs> so it's time to check the post office box, post office box 3241 here in Bloomington, Indiana, 47402. Hey, look. People have sent us stuff. What's in there? What is that? Hey, we must have gotten something really big because this means there's, oh goodness, well, we just got to see what this is. Your mail is larger than will fit in this box. Insert key in the same numbered locker and turn to left, open door and remove all articles. Number 18, hmm. Goodness, I just realized what time it is, and we haven't even had a drink yet, so I think we have something important to do. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Filter? Yeah, coffee filter. Uh, you must be making some coffee here. Yeah, yeah. Natural, unbleached coffee filter here. Yeah, I'm making some coffee. It's it's still in the morning. Um, where's our clock? It's actually well, it's not the morning anymore. It's morning for us though. One o five p.m. in the afternoon. And how actually, time has gotten on away. Saturday here um, while we're filming this. Natural, unbleached coffee filter. Take your coffee out of the grinder. Pour it in. Now, so, as I was saying, since it is still kind of morning here, we're going to have coffee instead of alcohol because it's it's important to go up before you come down. Otherwise, who knows what might happen. So while we're waiting for the water to boil here, um, we, I just wanted to point out that although it's 1.10 p.m. when we're filming this, you know, a day in the life of back in the camera again, the uh, title of this episode, Jane Beyond the Rocks. Um, it's actually, while you're watching this in real time, it's uh, about eight, nine minutes after 11. Um, uh, if, it, if you're watching this in Bloomington on Bloomington Community Access Television, uh, but otherwise maybe you're watching at a different time, in which case this clock holds little relevance, but this one is still relevant. Because this is what time? This is our time. time. So. So uh, now the water is officially a boil, so I'm going to 
you got your coffee cup cone thing here. Put it on top of your coffee cup, and then pour some water into the grounds, just enough to get all the grounds wet, as you can see there. And uh, then you want to let Ooh. that just sit for a minute and let the grounds kind of steep for a moment before you actually pour more water in. That's the official way to do it. And you are an, an official. official guy. Oh, uh, so now it's time to, uh, to pour more water in here. Um, now I can just fill this all the way up, um, get the grounds kind of roiling around in there so that they don't just stay on the bottom. And then just let that run through. Now see what's happening down here is the water is actually running through the cone uh, and it's making coffee. It's becoming coffee before your very eyes here on J&B on the Rocks, this television show you happen to be watching. Um, our, our episode, what is this episode called? Uh, back in oh, the camera. Oh, back in the camera again. again. Yes, yes, that's it right there. Before your very eyes, well, yeah. more before your lens, before yeah. this lens, yeah. our lens. Yeah, really. exactly. So there you are. See ya. On the black grounds of the black rock. Can you believe it? This is this is one of the few effects that our camera uh, is able to do in camera, so to speak. And this is our in ca back in the camera again episode, as, as you're seeing, seeing right now see, see on the screen. Yeah, kind of low res, isn't it? Yeah, that's another effect of this camera. Um, low, low res. Yeah. Low tech. Yeah, but at least it's here for you. He's even singing for you. Wow. For you Aerosmith fans, I'm back in the camera again! Yes, I'm back in the camera again! So, uh, now, now a vital step in my personal coffee preparation is adding ice because uh, I have a problem with, uh, with hot, really hot drinks. They scald my mouth and it's just uncomfortable. I much prefer cool or even cold coffee. So I'm putting as much ice in there as I can possibly fit into that cup. Well, where's the booze? Booze? No booze yet, because like I say, you have to go up before you can come down. Um, and, uh, you know, I need to get flying on this caffeine before I can uh, start using this, uh, this ca uh, uh, using alcohol to, to kind of bring me down into uh, some kind of drunken stupor. Mmm, fresh, warm coffee, just like I like it. Mm -mm. Picking out butts from the ashtray. That uh, gentleman over there on the on the uh, couch, that's uh, one Terry Hornsby, a homeless man here in Bloomington, Indiana. Kind of down in his luck in a ways, but he's been uh, staying with us recently. He also happens to be my wife's ex-boyfriend. Are, are, are these anybody's? Uh, You're welcome to him, man. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure, man? Sure. Honest. Help yourself, Terry. Feel free. We're, you know, uh, he is kind of, like I said, down on his luck. He's been staying with us, and we've tried to do our best, really, to, to make him feel at home. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking some coffee. I just found it upstairs. Oh, that's you, fine. Are you that's sure, fine. man? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's cold, isn't it? The coffee? That was from, like, three days ago. Well, that, that's okay. Uh, it's all right. Okay. You know, some, I, I don't mind. Some guys would have trouble. Um, I mean, we're a wasteful society, so... Yeah. <laughs> some guys would have trouble being friends with their um, their woman's ex-man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But not B. But not us, right? Really? We're, we're friends. Hey, all right. <laughs> Congratulations. How sweet. These guys are great. So this is the box where Terry actually sleeps here. But um, as you may, may uh, be happy to know, we've actually bought him a mattress here that he can wow. sleep on. Right out here in, in the, the yard. Out here in the front yard. So yeah. um, we Oh, hey, look, it's my cousin Matt and his friend John. You're kidding. Yeah, they came to visit from out of town. Wow. They just arrived. Wow. Wow, look. Yay. It's John with his apples and Matt with his hair. Wow, hey, your hair wow. is long now. Wow, well, now it's a party. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's colder out there. All right. Nice. Yeah, it's colder than it was, but, you know, wow. times they are changing. We got you some apples. Oh, We're... thanks, a housewarming present. Well, what do you think? Yeah, yeah.
Go. So, T Terry, come on out and try your new bed, man. Terry, hey, uh, uh, I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry. Oh, Terry, no, it's okay. Just, huh? I just wanted you to come out and try your new bed. Huh? We've got a new bed for you. I've got booze. Come on, come on, come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. Come on, come on. Come oh, it's Jägermeister, his it's favorite. It's Jägermeister, Terry. Come on. Yes, he's got it. Look. And we got him on his new bed. Wow. Over here. I think it's about time that we opened up this piece of viewer mail. Oh, wow, yeah. Gotten. This is a real letter from, from a, a real, real person. person. Yeah. And uh, living here in Bloomington, Indiana, I just can't wait to see what's inside and what this person might have to say to us. So I'm I'm actually going to rip what open... What was the address on there? Oh, we don't want to really reveal that. Oh, but our address. Uh, oh, our address, yeah. This is this is set to us, J and B. Uh, here at, box 3241. That's right. Here in Bloomington, Indiana. And, of course, the zip code, very important, 47402. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, looking inside, there's this yellow slip of paper. They, they must have filled out this form that we circulated. Oh, wow. And, um, oh, my God, look. They sent us a check as well. A check? Can you believe wow. it? I can for hardly... For 667? Wonder what for. Well, that's kind of like, uh, you know, 666, 666, the number of yeah. the beast, but one better. Yeah, yeah. So we're even better than Satan, huh? Yeah. So so look at this. Dear J and B, you guys is so cool. It makes me want to do bad things to my TV. <laughs> XXOO, your pal, Logan. Logan, and look. Wow. Nobody's, nobody's perfect. perfect. Uh-oh. Yeah. Amazing. Misplaced utter. Well, that's a, just strange. People yeah. sending us money. Yeah. So here, of course, we're on television here on Community Access Television. We can't ask people to send us anything of that. Right, right. It's just one of those things that happens sometimes, and we wanted to share that with you because this is a reality-based television show. I realized how scruffy looking I was, so I decided maybe it'd be a good idea to um, to shave a little. You know, I got to show coming up with the band here in, in a few days and I uh, figure if I shave now then I'll have just the right scruffy look for that, that kind of rock and roll um, terrorist approach that I want to kind of create. So, doing my best. Grunge is out, honey. exactly are you guys doing today? Um, well, actually, I guess B will explain it to, oh, to you. Okay. Now, this is a video camera, see? Mm -hmm. And this is a video camera on drugs. <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. Uh, actually, what I wanted to say was that the name of this episode, as you've probably already garnered, is um, back in the camera again. But yeah. actually, in camera has a special specific meaning which you in the viewing audience may not be aware of unless you're some kind of weird video file type person yeah. like me or, or yeah. Jay or any number of the people that you mm -hmm. see around here. Um, the in camera means that the videotape is being edited entirely inside the camera. Oh yeah, right. Instead of afterwards at some kind of editing suite, you know, where uh, somebody's paid a high wage to cut and paste different things here and there and put yeah. titles on and everything. Instead, we're doing this in camera, which so means... So there's just, there's a red button, which you press. Yeah, this, um, this red button here yeah. can be pressed to start the tape and uh, to recording stop and to yeah. stop it. And that is the um, very complicated procedure known as in-camera editing. But our, our camera, in, in particular, mm -hmm. the one that I'm pointing at right now, mm -hmm. has a number of special in-camera effects, like well, the titler, for example. Yeah, where it says... We're back in the camera again. And uh, we've put that on there. So it, it's kind of low res. It looks kind of goofy. It has that dumb cyan color or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, nevertheless, we put it there so that we could impress you with um, some kind of 
a special effect because you know after all what's reality without some yeah. kind of special yeah. effect yeah so um, we're uh, with all that in mind we will have one of our special in-camera edits right now yeah yeah and segue to a drink I think yeah good <laughs> So this drink that we're going to be making here is going to be called a Just Say Yes. Now, um, the first thing you'll need for this drink is a blender, just like this one we've got here. OK? Blender. Then uh, the next thing you'll want to get is some ice out of your freezer. Any kind of ice will do just as long as you've got it. Ice, ice, baby. Just put it in your blender. Hurry, fast. Fast. Speed is the essence. The next thing we'll be needing is some vodka. Just uh, pour, oh, I don't know, one or two ounces in there. Um, that'll be fine. Then uh, the next thing that we'll be adding to this is some rum. Uh, so out of this big bottle, just pour, say, an ounce or two in. Um, just a big splash of rum. And then uh, the next thing we'll want is some triple sec which again, we've got a big bottle because we're big people here on j and on the Rocks. This in-camera edited episode that you're watching right now, it's unfolding before your eyes. Then uh, you'll want to add some delicate ginger liqueur to this drink, the just say yes, because of course it's important to just say yes. And uh, yes, then the next thing we're going to be adding is some beer. Now I'm using uh, moose head beer because uh, I've got some actual moose ears um, somewhere that I kind of wear sometimes. Just add about uh, two ounces of that into this concoction. Then uh, you want to add some Theraflu. Uh, Theraflu. Theraflu. Yes, this is a, a cold medicine. Just pour the whole thing in there. Um, and then, uh, let's see, the next thing you'll want to be adding is uh, uh, an RU486 tablet, um, the abortion pill from France. Just uh, drop it in there. And uh, then the next thing that you'll be adding is some marijuana. Marijuana! Mary Jane, as it's known sometimes on the street. Just uh, take, I don't know, like an eighth of an ounce and pour it all in there. Um, then uh, you'll be adding some cocaine uh, to this. Just say yes. You understand, right? That you're just saying yes to all these drugs. I don't even know how much cocaine that is. Just as much as you feel like having will be fine with me. Then uh, the next thing you'll be adding is LSD-25, or LSD as it's known on the street. Um, just one tab will be fine, um, and just drop that in there. Um, and then the next thing we'll be adding, heroin. Uh, yeah, just some gran uh, heroin that's still um, kind of granulated and, and such. And then the last thing we'll be adding here before we blend this is just a dash of bitters um, to kind of top it off, make the flavor Oh, so right. Oh, I added a couple of dashes, but you know how it is. And then you just want to blend it up. Blend it, blend it, blend it. There we go. And then uh, you just take it, and you'll need a glass, and uh, you just pour it in there. Pour in the Just Say Yes concoction as much as you can possibly drink. And then before you drink it, drink it, garnish it with a cigarette. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yum. And then I'll taste this fine concoction. The Just Say Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, my brain is just splitting in about a million different directions.
It's now Bada three o'clock, almost Bada three o'clock. However, Bada 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 in showtime, gosh, we need to reset the clock. In showtime, it's actually almost 25 Bada after 11. We're good rolling. Okay. JMB is now going to officially reach a rated R status. Just kidding. I can handle it. So I think mm. it's time for us Popsicles to say goodbye. Get real. Yes. Well, you better you better believe it's time to say goodbye. Um, we're we're leaving now. It's uh, three o'clock in our real time. But actually, um, in uh, in show time, it's twenty seven minutes after or somewhere eleven somewhere like that. Assuming you're watching this on Bloomington Community Access Television here in Bloomington. Um, so uh, with that in mind, I guess we'll just be leaving you for this week. And, but we'll see you next week. Same time, same channel, same place. But something completely different, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm positive of that, at least. Um, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. And thus ends another episode of JMB on the Rocks. This is Editor B here on the microphone in the studio. I guess we never did explain exactly why we did a, another in-camera episode. Well, the truth is that we, we had our backs up against the wall with our rigorous weekly production schedule. Still do. You know, we're a weekly television sh show. We have deadlines to meet. And sometimes uh, there's just not enough hours in the goddamn day to to say all the things that we really want to say. Because, see, there's actually a regular Tuesday night lineup now on Channel 3. At 10 o'clock, Raw Shorts is on. At 11 o'clock, J&B on the Rocks. And at 11.30, the video show. So we have an actual half an hour time slot that we have to fill every week. And that's what I'm actually trying to do right now. And, uh, in fact, I think I just did. <laughs>